Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Lunar, the Silver Star story complete. Let's go ahead and make our way out of the Tomer Pass. Try to avoid the, uh, the bees. Apparently not uh, avoiding Zenobia. Zenobia! You filthy wench. Come here and let me wrap my hands around your scrawny neck. The only physical contact you'll have with me, little man, is when I stomp on the head of your cold, rotting corpse. Your search for the Black Dragon ends here, Alex, as does your pathetic little attempt at a life. Attack! Oh, hi, friends. How's it going? Ah! I think this might be... I don't... Because he can't actually have back attacks normally. But we got a back attack here. It's fine. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and... Do I want to do this? Uh, let's just uh, play safe and go with a uh, Raging Blizzard. Um... Go ahead and just attack the lead guy. And you attack the lead guy. Summon elemental power. Okay, so the uh, rear guy is strong against, probably strong against all magic, actually. Get a flash cut. He's weak to sword. White Wave. Only 44 damage. And stoned. Okay. Oh, the Wind Cane can't be used as an item. All right. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that lack of damage there. Besides, it killed him. 1691 XP. Yeah, very nice. You could attack us with a thousand monsters and it wouldn't matter, Zenobia. I'll kill... I'll kill all of them and then I'll kill you. Don't bother begging for mercy because you'll get none. You know, I was planning to turn you into a statue like your pathetic father. But now I'll allow the Vile Tribe to desecrate your tattered remains instead. Oh goody! Surrounded! Will this be some sort of pincer attack? No. No, it won't. Just a few more of them. Alright. A uh, flash cut again. Let's go with a thunder thrust. Let's go with... Okay, no. I think we go for a blizzard. Summon elemental power. Check this out. Man, Mia actually going first is a crazy. Flash cut going. Excellent. Very nice. 25.54 XP, and no one goes up a level, though. <laughs> With all of that. Can't keep this up much longer, Jess. One more round and that little worry will not be a relevant concern any longer. <laughs> now I want some explosive arrows. No! Ah, oh, shoot. Something about enjoy your life while you can, I think. Who no Athena's name is that?
Not even going to introduce yourselves. Rude. Rude. Hit the vile tribe with their arrows from that great a distance? Do any of you realize how incredible that is? But who are they? And why'd they leave without saying a word to us? So many dots. Well, let's go see if we can uh, meet them. They're probably going to be at Tomer. Right? Makes sense. All right, welcome to Tomer. As the official village greeter, let me be the first to say howdy-do, and how are you? So what brings you to our wonderful corner of the world? Tomer is the best that nature has to offer. Hunting, camping, hiking, and monster avoidance classes. I want some monster avoidance classes. There we go, get a, a little bit of healing. Let's see what we got here. Welcome to our general store, where service is our slogan. Uh, it's not our actual, yeah, it's not what we actually do, but it's our slogan. So we got a protection ring. Uh, I think I have one of those on someone. Okay, nothing to sell there. Let's go ahead and sell the intelligent robe. The uh, crystal uh, bracelet. The crystal armlet. The two holy helmets. I'm gonna hold on to the uh, rainbow tiara for now. That's good. Thank you for your patronage and enjoy your non refundable purchases. I mean, they're non refundable, but I can still uh, sell them. Yeah, Nash has the uh, protection ring. All right. Welcome to Tomer Motel. Can I interest you? Uh, what's that? You're not looking for a room? Uh, of course you're not. No one travels out here since a vile tribe started acting up. Sorry. Also, it, it, it's more that the game just doesn't have an end mechanic. I'm thinking of changing this place from a motel to, into a bowling alley. Good idea? Bad idea? What's bowling? It's probably a bad idea, lady. Probably a bad idea. Well, hi. What brings you to Tamer? I traveled here from after graduating from the Magic Guild. I just needed to get away from the big floating city for a while and have fun exploring the world. For a second there, I thought she said exploding the world. I'm amazed this little town has a hotel. I thought I'd be setting up camp under a tree or something. Yeah, I always come here after work and wind down with a cold brew and a tasty drumstick. Althena should have quit after she made beer and chicken, because nothing could be more perfect. Excuse me? Dare you disrespect ham? The first beer is always good, but the second one is always better. <laughs> I don't drink, but I like to come to come in and hang out with my friends after hard day's work. Besides, what else would I do? Go home and spend time with my wife? Y yes And kids, if you have them? I'm thankful to Athena for blessing me with such good friends and such a good job. As for my wife, well, I'm sure even the goddess makes mistakes. Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomer's quiet. Tomer's close to nature. Tomer's perfect. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't move here for any of that. I moved here because the liquor is so good. It makes my spine quiver. If this booze was any better, I might become a stinky drunk. Oh, <laughs> wait, I already am. <laughs> Hey, new customers, you're gonna love it here. Tomer's clean water makes for some great liquor. Any of you want a sample sip to... Want a sample sip? Oh, that seems weird to me. To taste what I'm talking about? Nah, it's against my personal belief system to turn down free booze. So I am honor-bound to accept your invitation, kind barkeep. I don't think so, Kyle. You've never been able to use the words one and beer in the same sentence. 
Well, he said liquor, not beer. It's like sausage on that plate there. Ah. Closed off door, rude. You slogged all the way here from Berg? Woo, doggy, you must have gone through a heap of shoes on that trip. Oh, no, no, these are the same shoes. A village of the prairie tribe called Pow is just south of the Forest of Illusion. When I was a wee lad, I remember the forest as a very confusing place. But a fairy always seemed to appear and show me the way if I got lost. Okay. The forest that lies south of Tomer is called the Forest of Illusion. It's always blanketed in a thick fog. When I was younger, I'd go out there, I'd go there with my boyfriend to make out because we wouldn't get caught. Of course, that was before all the monsters appeared. Fascinating. The forest, I, I mean, it, it sounds unusual, even magical. Most of the travelers who try to get through the forest of illusion come back here in a hurry. But a few of them never come back. Maybe they're just lost. Or worse. I'm guessing or worse. Long ago, an adventurer passing through Tomer told me that the Vile Tribe lived in the frontier. I worried for a long time about what the, those monsters were doing out there. I don't wonder or worry about the Vile Tribe anymore, but my poor wife does. My husband says the Vile Tribe is nothing to worry about, but I think they're preparing to attack. Yeah, think? Oops. My husband's too optimistic. If he'd stop and think about it, he'd know I, I was right. Maybe he just wants to ignore the truth instead of accepting it. Nope, can't reset it. Oh well. Hey kids, wanna go around town and tell people how my medicine cured you of leprosy? It might be more believable if one of you chops a finger off. I'll pay you for it. You can have 10% of the profits if you make the people here believe. What do you say? This guy really gives me the creeps, Alex. Let's go. I'm running low on medicine. Hmm. Let's grind up that tree over there and make some more. How did my grandma move here after Grandpa passed away? I thought she should spend the rest of her days in a peaceful place, far away from the noise of the city. But now I find out the Vile Tribe of the Frontier has been sighted near here several times recently. And monsters appeared in the Forest of Illusion. And I think it's time to move again. I brought Grandma here because I thought it was safe. I was wrong. No place is safe these days. I wish my grandson would accept nature for what it is and shut his whiny little cake hole. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but that little moron gets my bloomers in a bunch. I never wanted to move here in the first place, but my grandson insisted it would do me good. Wrong! I've been miserable since we arrived in this godforsaken town. Shouldn't there be goddess forsaken town? Alright, let's check out the weapon shop. First, let's talk to the kid. You know what? There are fairies in the forest to, to the south. Oops, that was supposed to be my super secret. Too late now. I want to see those fairies again. Well, uh, it's convenient. I, I have a little thing right here that you can take and see the fairies all you want. If you're planning to travel any further than Tomer, you're going to need stronger weapons. Okay, let's see. Holy bow. Judgment maced. Mace, lest ye be judged. Death from above there. Uh, wind sword, blows the enemy's way. A great sword. That is better, so I guess we'll... Buy it for now. Uh, that does increase agility, so that's pretty nice.
I am not going to buy the Holy Bow, though. I don't think that's uh, really any... Like, the, the, the stats are just better. With all the Vile Tribe activity, my sales are way up, but my morale is way down. Okay, first of all... In case I go somewhere where, all, like, all the enemies are, um... Uh, have an elemental weakness, I'm gonna keep the other swords. There ain't a person in town who ain't talking about the Vile Tribe. I better be buying me some weapons and armor, for there ain't nothing left to buy. I ain't at all happy with how close this village is to the frontier. And I ain't got, got no idea what weapon I should get. Well, obviously you should get the most expensive one you can afford. That's how these things work. The boy in the weapon shop is going to take me with him to the Forest of Illusion and show me a big secret. Do you think the secret of the forest is a big pile of treasure? Or maybe it's a really big pile of candy? Yeah! I don't think it's either of those, little kid. This is a small town shop with big deals on first-rate armor. Take a look around and see if you don't agree. Well, first... I should sell some things. Wait, is that... Ah, oh, poop. I didn't need to get that. Oh, well. I'm gonna keep both of those. They do elemental uh, damage. Alright, silver armor. Light and strong. Equip that. Radiance robes. That is better. We got a saint's robe that I cannot afford. We got a spirit robe. Dragon armlet, which we've already gotten. And a lucky bandana. Wisdom would go down. Luck would go up. Defense would go up. I think that I'm going to stick with... Since he has a defense ring, I'm going to stick with the thing that has his wisdom going up. Oh, right, that's really expensive. I was, I was missing the one. It was blending in with the background. could get that, but the inventory is full. I think we'll hold off. Go and sell that. There's a reason why I'm not going to buy other people armor at the moment. The place north of here is called Might's Tower. That creepy place is filled with monsters. Yuck. Oh, hey, it's Lake. Well met, children. Long time no see. Lake, what are you doing all the way out here? <laughs> Why the look of surprise, my faux feline friend? You should know by now that I'm a lone wolf doll. Follow only the scent of adventure. And that takes me to many places. As long as the destination's stocked with a leggy crew and honey sweet brew, I'm game. But ho ho ho! Enough about me. How have you fared in your adventure, my friends? Check it out, Lake. Alex got the blue dragon helmet. Ah, you met the blue dragon. Impressive, Alex. I expected no less of you. All that remains for you now is to meet the black dragon and gain its prize. Once you have accomplished that, you shall achieve what you most desire. You shall become a Let's Player, I mean, uh, uh, become a full-fledged Dragon Master. The stuff of legends, my boy. The only fly in the ointment is that none of us have a clue where to look. 
My mother once said that the lair of the Black Dragon was located on the frontier. And that it was guarded vi jealously by the Vile Tribe. She also said that the only way to get there was by flying. I don't know anything about finding the Black Dragon, but I can help you get airborne. There's an old inventor named Might who lives in this neck of the woods. He's a bit strange. But if you asked him, I know you could easily... He could easily build a flying machine for you. The only problem is that Might isn't really a people person. So you can't all go to meet... go to see him. One of you will be more than sufficient for this job. So what do you say, Alex? Are you up for a trip to Might's tower? It sounds exciting, Alex. Are you going with him? Uh, I'd love to go. I'd love to go, Lake, uh, sir. Ho <laughs> Lake is fine, Alex. There's no need to be formal. When you address me like that, I feel like you're about to salute. I just want you to relax and have fun on your journey, okay? We'll stay here and wait for you two to come back. With great news, I hope. See you soon, Alex. Please watch over him, Lake. Hey, Lake, is it okay if I go with you too? I don't think Mike is allergic to cats, so I don't see why not. But if you can stand him, you sh he should be able to stand you. Okay. Horsey! Phew, this horse stinks. A few less beefaroni nuggets would do him good. For some reason, we have lots of wild horses in this area of the Stadia Zone. The people of Pow have learned to make their living by taming them. The Prairie Tribe can be stubborn, but as long as you're honest with them, they'll treat you with respect. Alright, so that's where that, uh guy and that lady were from. Alright, let's see. Um, Mike's Tower isn't too far north of this little hovel. Wow. Hovel? It's just the kind of walk to challenge these adventuring bones of mine. <laughs> Alright, so Lake is level 99, 500 hit points. He has no MP, though. Can't easily check what he has. He's got the same uh, armor, uh, shield, and helmet as uh, Kyle. Actually, that might be the older helmet. Can't remember what rings those are. Well, I have one of the rings. So healing ring. He's got a healing ring. Can we steal it? Is that the? I don't think that's a wrath ring. One hundred eighty-nine attack. One hundred sixty defense. Actually, not that much higher than Alex's. Agility 112, Wisdom 124, Magic Endurance 108, Number of Attacks 3, Range 20, Luck 8. He's not as lucky as Alex. Alright, well, that is going to be the tower. Let me go ahead and pull up the map for that place. Tell me, is Old Might still alive and well, or is he giving off a scent of a different kind? Is that you, Lake? Please come in. Might will be very pleased to see you. Might is working in his laboratory at the top of the tower. Uh, be aware that the pungency rating today is in the red. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go through here first. Okay. We can not go through there. Intruders, go away! Beware of the cranky, stinky, rude genius within. If you are an if you are an invited visitor, today's password is it's blank. Alright, so here's one of the actual 
changes in the game. Um, in the Japanese version, it actually did tell you the password. They just they just took it out. The English. So uh, let's see. Okay, so we go through here. And we go through here. And there we go. Alright, there are some items around here. kind of enemy is that? Plasma Prism and Magic Hat. Okay. Two twenty-eight. Two twenty-seven. 258. Rude. Ow, my face. All right, so that's not going to work on him. Master Sword, Swordsman's Weapon, and Fresh Ring, Prevents Conditions. Ah, that's what he's got. All right. So, I don't think he can do anything against this guy. Yeah! Alex gained a level, five hit points, three MP, one attack. Two defense, one agility, one wisdom, two magic endurance. So I kind of want to, like, not do too much fighting here if I can. Uh, let's see, from here... The fact that the uh, some of these pixels seem off to me is, is kind of throwing me. Dang it. Probably was going to have to fight that anyway. Plasma Prism and Mecha Star. Chase Bomb. Alright, maybe I should have had Lake attack these guys first. That's yeah, good to know. I do have an herb. I don't want to use a healing nut yet. That'll do. And got a silver light. Very nice. Okay, let's see it from here. Actually, want to figure out where I need to go. Hmm. 
Okay. All right. There is actually nothing we can do here, huh? That's annoying. All right, well, we got the item, and that is the important thing. Nope, leave me alone. All right, that takes me down. That does not take me up. There's nothing over there. Very, very mazy here. Alright, well, let's see. If I go this way... That might be a thing. Well, let's see what the heck this is. Tormentors. I don't know what they can do. I don't think I care. I, think I just want them dead. Firing their lasers. To a certain extent, this is just getting Alex XP that is going to make boss fights harder. <laughs> nope, leave me alone. Oh, crap. That's where the item is. I'm going to try running. There we go. If I do that... Nope. Alright. We gotta kill him. Because we want to get that treasure chest. Forgot that it does that. Ow, my face. Ow. I guess I gotta use a uh, healing nut now, don't I? Alright. Now you. Would've been kinda nice if you went after the other, uh... Toy thing slow head, ow. I mean, I know Lake doesn't care about hit points, but I do. I mean, I really care about my hit points. <laughs> Let's go get this treasure chest. And got a barrier ring, which... Uh, 
Uh, raises magic resistance. Okay. I think we have one of those already. Alright, so that would take us down. I don't really want to go down, so I think we'll be going through there. But that is going to be in next time, as we work our way up to the top of Might's Tower, and hopefully meet him and get him to make some sort of flying device for us. Of course, we had the balloon, but were we able to keep it? No. See you next time, everyone.